Hey, welcome back to another Legacy Demonstration video. In this video, or today, we're going to be demonstrating on how to create a five-piece panel door. In all honesty, this isn't five pieces. It's only a single-piece MDF door that we just barely finished painting, but it looks like a five-piece panel door. We're going to show you first, the first three minutes of the video, we're going to go over kind of the software tool paths, just the, just the layout of the program on how we got the sharp corners and even the score mark so it looks like a seam as if it was a five-piece panel door. And then we'll finish the video off by showing the cutting taking place um, for this entire part. So stay tuned. Well, first of all, the fastest and most accurate way of creating a five-piece panel door is to use the shapes of tools or cutters to give us the final result. We're going to be doing the exact same process here. We're just going to be combining different tools to do so. So we have a plunge flat round over cutter that's going to give us the small radius that goes along the outside edge of that profile. And then we have a large core box cutter that's going to give us a large radius on the inside edge of the profile. Now what we had to do is we had to adjust the spacing between these cutters so that the core box doesn't accidentally hit into the radius of the smaller tool. So there's this flat surface that will also need to be machined with like a flat cutter of some kind, an end mill or a straight cutter. So we just have some vectors that those cutters are going to be following. Let's show you those tool paths so you can, you can see what that looks like. So the first thing is the, the plunge flat round over cutter and again that puts the small radius on the outside edge and that looks great so let's see what the next process is going to do it's going to use the exact same tool and actually go out on the outside of the door give us giving us a nice soft edge with that same radius and next we're going to be showing the flat surface being machined from the plunge flat round over cutter and the core box so here is our, our quarter inch straight or end mill uh, machining that extra flat in there and then here is the core box going around the inside edge of the profile, giving us our, our final result. So that, that actually looks really, really nice. If you were to uh, finish this with a, a paint grade material, that actually looks really, really nice. But if you want it to look more like a five-piece panel door, because the, the dead giveaway is the radius corners because of the swing of the cutter. So how can we get it looking like a five-piece panel door, even though this is gonna be a paint grade component? Well, there's, there's two things that you can do. We can 3D carve the corners, and then we can also add some engrave or scribe lines here that looks like there's a seam where the style and rail actually meet. So the 3D was done by taking the, the same shape of the cutter and creating a 3D component of yeah. the exact same tool path. And then we were able to actually carve just in those corner areas. So if I actually close out the preview, here is the 3D model that was created. So you can see that the corners are nice and sharp. And so that allows us to then control where the three-dimensional carving is going to take place for those surfaces. So the way we control the 3D carving is by creating these corner boxes and that will limit the cutter to only work within those highlighted areas of those vectors. And so we're going to be using a very fine uh, 30 second of an inch taper ball cutter in order to give us the detail involved in those corners. So let's go here to our preview of our 3D carving. So we can see we, we haven't carved that yet, so let's preview that. And there it goes and it cleans those up and actually looks really, really nice. So if this was, uh, again, a paint grade, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was a five-piece panel door at all uh, because the seam, depends on how many coats of paint were on here, would either be covered up or not, or not seen at all. But if you do want to have that result of a seam here, you can use like a, a fine V cutter. I used a, a 45 degree V cutter and we just did like a 20 thousandths inch groove um, right there on this, on kind of the edge seams to make it look like it's a five piece panel door before it was painted. And it will kind of give it, give it that little indent while it's being painted as well. So the, um, it makes, again, looks like a five piece panel door. So let's go to the machine and actually throw some sawdust around and see what this looks like. Every cutter that's going to be used for this raised panel door is going to be touching off the smart tool pad to measure the tool height offset. This will happen for every tool change throughout the entire project. The first tool is that plunge flat round over cutter that puts the outer radius along the profile. Next, the quarter inch down spiral end mill mills the flap between the core box and the plunge flat round over cutter. Oh, 
Next, the core box puts the large radius on the inner edge of the profile. And then we have the taper ball cutter that cleans up the corners. Last is the 45 degree V cutter that engraves the scribe marks. Well that actually looks pretty good. Uh, you can see with the score marks, the light score marks, and with the 3D carving done in the corners, uh, that this actually looks like a five piece panel door, all from one component. So let's, uh, let's put some paint finish on here and see what she looks like. With a few coats of paint, she looks pretty good. Now here at Legacy, we train all of our customers how to design and program techniques similar to this one. If you're interested in that type of training, you can jump over to our website at LegacyWoodworking.com. There you can also find information on our CNC machines, the three workstation CNC platforms that are unmatched. Just click the link right over there to jump over to our website. If you want to see one of our favorite videos, the best CNC machine, click right down there. And to stay informed on upcoming videos, click that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.